Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? And I love the aerial view of the fish. My gosh. This is better than going to a resort. It's like you have your own spa in your own backyard. I wouldn't want to move out of this place. <laughs> <laughs> what a cool little house. What a neat project. Look at this yard. Look at what they've done back here. You know what? I think this tortoise is more active than your dog. I think so. <laughs> Definitely. Oh my gosh, you got a lot of stuff. Is this your bedroom? Yep. So you just sleep on the couch? Yeah, I, I have so many animals, I don't have too much room for a bed anymore. <laughs> what kind of snake is that? Uh, this is a Brooks King snake. Wow. From Florida. Their markings are just incredible. What's the Oscar's name? I just named them Oscar. Very creative. <laughs> We got Roy from KC Landscapes out here. What town are we in? We are in Grandview, Missouri, South Kansas City. Okay, and we got his two boys here, and we got a kind of a cool project because this is rainwater harvesting, right? Yes, it is. Okay, I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy, and it's all about showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyle. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, cool. How long ago did you build this? We built the water feature, I think, about four years ago. Oh, wow, look at this. Hi, I'm Hi. the Pond Guy Greg. Nice to meet you, Nice Greg. to meet you, too. This is spectacular. Wow. I would imagine that my reaction is similar to other people that come to your house. Yes, everybody has the same reaction. This is gorgeous. Roy, what's the story here? You originally contacted me for the water feature. I'm initially rainwater harvesting. Okay. And then we got to talk about tying it into a water feature. And then, of course, we need some hardscapes and other work also for her. Because uh, you did also the hardscaping out here, too. Yeah. So what did you do when you came in here? What was it like? Black, black bare black backyard. Lake. No shed, no fence, no patio. It was just grass and the fence. That was it. And then there was no tree, no plantings whatsoever. Wow. The it was backyard black. was flat. So what did you end up doing? Basically, as we excavated the pond, we also, right here, where the water goes into, and what's underneath the flagstone with the white rock, is a rainwater harvesting system, 3,000 gallons. We have all four downspouts on the corners of the house, buried underground, dumping into it. And your goal with the rainwater harvesting was for gardening? Yeah, that was my vegetable garden. Uh -huh. And the whole point is I wanted the best of both. I wanted like a zen garden, and yet at the same time I wanted a vegetable garden, so I actually put a little fence here and separated it. Yeah, 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 right. And I saw it on his website back then that they had this rain harvesting yeah. system. And um, I said, that will be perfect to you know, be able to get all the water and not pay water bill, high water bill. <laughs> and also when you harvest the rainwater, Water, it actually makes the vegetables taste better. Exactly. It is spectacular. Well, you have quite a vision. Did you just, four years ago, did you buy the house or did you yes. just, okay. Uh, I bought the house, I think it was September of 2014. Wow. And, uh, I think the, the first vision I got was the backyard. I was like, I wanted like an Asian themed garden. And I think Roy delivered. Yes, did. <laughs> yeah, and much more. And then it's, you know, you just seeing everything grow. It know. really is beautiful. Yeah. The view from inside the house is so important. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? And I love the aerial view of the fish. My gosh. You have to spend a lot of time outside. Yeah. And this sunroom is fantastic. So is this your workspace? No, this is like my dining room, actually. Well, you have quite a nice dining room. And I think the best view is in the wintertime when it's snowing and you're sitting here watching the pond. And then you can see frozen or, you know, just see the snow. Sometimes it's just amazing in, in the wintertime. For someone that's never lived the aquascape lifestyle, how would you describe that in your own, how you live it? It's almost like this is better than going to a resort. It's like you have your own spa in your own backyard, you know, your, your own little retreat. Yep. And to me, this is like your own private space. Yes. And you can create it how you want it and design it how you want it. I mean, there's work to it, but at the same time, I think it's worth the investment. You know, Amen. I don't want to move out of this place. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to sell it. This is like, I'll be keeping this for a long so, time. So you're happy with Roy? Oh, yeah. He I mean, Roy's, we've been in partnership for like a couple years and on and off, we're adding stuff and, you know, we do doing things in phases and so. Don't you love it when you have a customer whose yeah. vision can match yours? Yes, well, and who gave us the freedom to also help develop their vision. Amen. Right. So Roy, explain the first flush filter. This is a downspout filter, which yep. basically you've got the, the top of it will allow you to collect a, and knock off like the big leaves, big debris. Mm -hmm. Then inside of it, there is actually, 
and then this. Yep. And then well, that, it needs to be dumped out. Yes. So that's what you do. So look at all of the crap that comes off your roof that goes into there. Yep. So right down here, this is the whole aqua block system, right? Yes. Right here where the waterfall spills way in. Uh, where I'm standing, in fact, on top of, as I walk across this way, it goes even clear over into here, clear yep. to pierce the pump. But this is a 3,000 gallon rainwater harvesting system that's underneath of here. And I just put a filter fabric over the top, put the pavers over that so rainwater can flow in. But you can see the waterfall that comes out of the pond, drops into it. Two pumps. I got one over here that feeds upper biofall that also feeds the booster pump yep. that she can then use to water her gardens with. Right, and then the downspout comes into downspout a first flush filter. In corner, and I've got two that come off this side that dump right into the basin. And then the booster pump is right over here. Yep. So right there, so she can pump water out of the basin here, correct? Yes. We've got the line runs over, ties into it, and then she can use that water to come out and water her gardens here. She's got some fruit trees, see growing on fence. Very uh, nice. Yeah. And one of the things, and then I love, I just love this whole setting. I mean, this is just a, such a Zen backyard, you know, a little fire pit. And I love what she did too about putting this fence in because this is more utilitarian on this side with the vegetable yep. garden. And then she's got the Zen garden over here. <laughs> Stare blankly and quietly and just like take it in. Like, I guess that says it all, right? Like there's almost like no words for most people. And then after a few seconds, then they're like, wow, I love your yard. It's almost like words and it's not enough to even describe how they feel about it because it's more of experience that they just felt rather than trying to describe what you saw. I don't even have words to describe my And now. And you know what? That says it all. Yeah. I think we could all kind of feel that way. Right. Who would not come up here and want to walk on this path? I mean, you got this path and it goes right back to a bio falls in the back there and then a little zen sitting area back here. What a cool little house. What a neat project. And that's what I love. It's always different. So all of the decorations and how you actually make this. And look at this yard. Look at what they've done back here. And then look at the neighbor's yard. I'm telling you right now, you could have that yard or you could have this yard that will suck you outside like a vacuum cleaner and deposit you. And this is why this never gets old for me. Every time I go to somebody's house and see how they're living the aquascape lifestyle and see how they decorated and created their art, it never gets old. Hi. And you must be mom. I am mom. Nice to meet Nepon you. The pond guy, Greg. What's your name? Yes, Kathy. Kathy. Yeah. And you are Drew? Dean. 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 I'm the pond guy. Greg, I, I sent you a video, right? Yeah. All right, so what's this guy's name? Oh, this is Kirby. Look okay, at Kirby. Kirby. He hasn't barked yet. He's very cute. <laughs> so, Dean, you were the one that really wanted this, and mom got it? But how does the story go? Well, the story kind of goes, Dad said, hey, when you put everything in water out back, you guys want a hot tub or a pond? And we're like, and the pond will be way more fun. Yeah, so and both of you. So this is, a, this is about? It's the whole family vote. Yes. And then um, it just kind of started from there. And you followed uh, YouTube? Yeah. Hey, I love it. <laughs> All right, so were you happy with what you got? Yeah. Okay, oh, so show us. Let's go amazing. check this out. Oh my gosh, it's right here. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool. What a perfect location for it. Yeah, these backyards are not very big. No, but you've done a lot. I love showing that. So this is really nice. So you came in here. What was here when you got here? A bare backyard, just grass. There was a little bit of a patio up in here. They expanded the deck after I was done. They've added the patio since I've Really? Did you move in here? Or was it uh, newer home? I've been home? here 20 years. Oh, wow. So this is a big change. Yes, a huge change. There used to be a humongous oak tree right in the middle of this backyard. And did it die? And It was about 85, 90 years old and just concerned about its health. And it was time for it to go. Because you didn't want to knock another tree. Out. Okay. And so then the backyard sort of murked many different things. And then we landed on the idea of a pond. Okay. We found Roy. Why did you want a pond? I have uh, some indoor fish too. So outdoor koi and goldfish are really cool too. Very Totally cool. How many koi do you have in here? A lot. <laughs> I think we have six koi and uh, maybe eight goldfish. Oh, that's cool. And what kind of tanks do you have upstairs? I have a 40 with single Oscar and uh, some other smaller kind of tropical fish. Back here we have two tortoises. Oh, you do? Let me see. That's cool. That's a nice enclosure for them. Did you build these? No, I didn't. Aaron from Royal Creations. What kind of tortoises? Two Russians. Really? Oh, that's cool. How long have you had them? That one, I'd say about two years and uh, this one about a year and a half. Wow. There they are, man. They're just running around. Look at this. And they will live a long time. Yep. You know what? I think this tortoise is more active than your dog. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> They actually 
actually know each other. So in the winter time, the tortoises roam the living room, the whole main floor. Uh huh. And they're just around each other all the time. What else do you have? Uh, some snakes. Mom, can we go up there and see these snakes? <laughs> okay, come on. What do you guys think? Pretty good? Yeah. I love my job. having trouble getting tadpoles to grow into frogs in the pond. Yes. So what we sort of thought to do, almost scoop up a section of the pond and put tadpoles in here, raise them into frogs and put them in the pond. One of the craziest thing that happened, we put two or three of those hyacinth bulbs in there and one day it came down, baby fish. Oh, because they, they were on it. They were on it, the eggs were. And then one day they just hatched in here. So like baby, baby goldfish? Uh, yep, one right there. Oh yeah. So they were on the roots of the hyacinth that you put uh -huh. in here. Yep. So those are either baby koi or baby goldfish. Or a mix, yeah. yeah you can't really see, you can't really tell because they're so little. I see another one up here. Yep. Oh, that is really cool. See, that's an ecosystem at heart. Yeah. Good, all right, so that's the tank. What else do you got? Oh my gosh, you got a lot of stuff. Is this your bedroom? Yep. So you just sleep on the couch? Yeah, I, I <laughs> have so many animals, I don't have too much room for a bed anymore. <laughs> this kid is into it. So you got an Oscar over here, I yep. see. Okay, cool Oscar. Oh, this one. Oh, you got a snake. How, what kind of snake? This is the ball python. Yep. How long have you had this guy? About three years. Beautiful animal. Very cool. Yeah, she's real nice. Wow, gorgeous. Here, you wanna hold her? Very cool. And then what do you got in here? Wow, what kind of snake is that? Uh, this is a Brooks King snake. Wow. From Florida, their markings are just incredible. Really, really cool snake. Mom, you are an understanding mother. Oh, absolutely. My mom would never let me do this when I was a kid. Not only do you have all of these tanks, dude, but right over here, you have the best yep. view of the pond ever, right out the back window. That is really nice. What's the Oscar's name? I just named him Oscar. There you go, very creative. <laughs> this is your daughter who works at a pet shop, right? Yes, the daughter who works at a pet shop, so in here. <laughs> you could definitely tell this has a more feminine touch than your yeah. Dean's room. That's the snake that started it all when she turned two, the corn snake. Okay, yeah. And then in here is a chameleon. Nice. That is a juvenile. How many total animals? You said 20? 20, 27. 27 total animals. It's a lot, it's about all we do. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? This is a great hobby, right? It is, it is. And there's a tarantula over here. And a bearded dragon over here. Bearded dragon. That's cactus. Does he like to hang out in the water like he that? He loves it. That is cool. And then this is her garter snake that, and I'm not sure where it's hiding at the moment, but she rescued it in November. It was trying to hibernate in the gutter of a street as she walked home from school. And so she just is an animal lover and she picked it is. up. She is. She brought it home and then created an amazing habitat for it. And these are two ball pythons. Are you serious? Yeah. Um, another gentleman had rescued. They were both sick from a pet store, and then but he just couldn't keep them, and so she adopted them. <laughs> <laughs> crabs beta. That is cool. So you watch a lot of YouTubers and get inspiration for yeah. new animals and how to yeah. take care of them and everything else. Are you out here a lot? Yeah. Like what do you like to do out here? Uh, sometimes I bring out my guitar. Okay. Oh, what a perfect place. Yeah. In fact, could you go get your guitar? Yeah. This is what I love about YouTube and vlogging is it's impromptu. I mean, the guy plays the guitar, he sits by the pond and plays it, so why not do it when we're here? So mom, he's only been playing for a couple months? Just a couple months. And did you have any clue? Does that, does that music yeah. ability run in your family? Well, it does. My husband's brother is a drummer. Yeah. He's a very good drummer. Well, hey, that's a very talented young man. Thank you. And I gotta tell you, I love when I see young guys that are following a passion and living the aquascape lifestyle. We need more people doing this, right? Yeah. <laughs> I love my job. This is so cool. I never get bored at these vlogs because I never know who I'm gonna meet and fantastic water feature. Mom, thanks for supporting them in this. Absolutely. And it's a beautiful yard and I love a mom that supports her kids with all these animals. <laughs> Nice. So what would be involved with creating this in someone's backyard if they're um, interested? Basically, I come out originally, meet with them. We discuss their ideas, their thoughts, what their desires are. You know, we talk about budget, we discuss options, and then we kind of come up with a plan of, uh, for this one, worked out to like a 10 by 10 pond because of the size of the backyard. They did still want room for patio in the future. They want room for landscaping and still a little bit of grass for yep. the dog. You got a small backyard, but it, it's got everything going on. Yeah, yeah, so a pond like 10 by 10, maybe 8,000 pounds of stone? Yeah, yeah, we probably had about eight. 
8,000. 8,000 pounds. So, so what would this run from KC Landscape? Basically, probably, I would say about 7,500 to 8,000, depending on options, lights, things like that. Things right. Like that. So, Mom, would you spend more time outside now than when you just had a tree? A ton more time <laughs> than with the tree. And the backyard's changed over the years with many different things, but this has been definitely our happiest landing of So, it was a good investment. It was a fantastic investment. Well, I think it's a fantastic pond. Thanks for living the aquascape lifestyle. Well, that was a lot of fun, but everywhere I go, I see this. Are you kidding me? If you had that house and you had this slope, perfect. Pond up there, waterfalls coming down, everybody that walks by, you would certainly recognize that house.